Special bike ride tonight in memory of victims of biking accidents. Those who took part want to see some changes. Here's Alex George. Julian Angelucci killed while riding his bike near 10th and Shunk Streets in South Philadelphia. He was 10 years old. Jamal Morris, a Drexel grad and engineer. He was killed on 45th and Market Streets while biking. Emily Fredericks, a Philadelphia pastry chef who was riding to work and was killed by a sanitation truck. We're devastated. It's missing piece, you know. Yeah. Families torn apart by the loss of their loved ones gathered together today to ride in their memory and advocate for change. You just need to put yourself in, in our shoes for a second and you'd want the change immediately. And what does change look like? Advocates here say drivers slowing down gives cyclists a better chance of survival. If a crash does occur, God forbid, uh, we, we, the person involved has a better chance of, of staying alive. We need to see better infrastructure. Right now, it's illegal in most of Pennsylvania to have a protected bike lane. Sidney Ozer has been a cyclist his whole life. He lost his 17-year-old son, Samuel, in 2020. He had just graduated high school at AIM Academy and he had a dream summer job working for Trek Bicycles as a bike mechanic. He was riding home from Trek on Father's Day uh, when he was struck and killed by an automobile on Henry Avenue. Since the loss of their son Samuel, the Ozers ride for him every day and advocate for protected lanes and more speed cameras. Every day we ride today, we think of the amazing things that Samuel did and accomplished.